You said something to me a long time ago, and I, I can't remember if it was in the podcast or or if it was in person or um, you might not have even said it to me, but it, it, there was there was a concept you were talking about. And um, I can't re- recall if it was from a book you had read or a podcast you had heard, but you told me something about um, like when you walk into a room, like you, you try and service the room. And, and that for some weird reason, like that stuck with me. Like I see how you treat people, um, you know, in, in, in person in your life and, and you do, and it leads me to, to the, the, another situation is that, you know, I, I do think that a, you, you carry yourself like that, but I also do believe that at least the members of your family, your, your immediate family that I know also carry themselves like that. And, um, that, that's something that I think a lot of people could gain from in trying to quote unquote service the room, you know, giving, giving back not only to their community, but to their friends, to their family, to their loved ones. And, uh, you know, it's like, I, I, I was just telling somebody the other day, um, uh, we were talking about, um, some high school stuff. And for some reason it got onto a topic of your mom and, uh, we were, we were discussing and they were, I was like, Oh man, I, I love her. Like, she's awesome. They're like, do you know her? I was like, well, yeah, I mean, she was my teacher. She was everybody's teacher. But, uh, but I was like, she was, she was like this person in my life that she helped me like kind of access the creative side of my brain. And I, I was kind of reading and writing a lot of like weird stuff at that point. Um, and I, I started writing this book, um, in her class about, it was basically, like copy and John Sanford's the the prey series. Like it was <laughs> what would eventually become the TV show Dexter. Like I was, <laughs> yeah, I was pretty much plagiarizing this book, but I, I hadn't read the prey series. And so um, I thought it was really cool. It's a concept. And I, I started really writing and she, she like popped in and read it. And I was like, what do you think? She's like, well, I mean, there's work to be had on it, but uh, I think you're honest. I'm like, you should keep going to this. And so it's like, you know, you go through the next four months of that class or whatever, and the semester is going to change. And, but like every time I would see her, she'd be like, how's the book? And it was like, you know, so then if I hadn't worked on it, you know, I'd be like, I haven't touched it. You know, (laughs) like I want to lie so bad to you right now, Tish, but (laughs) like I can't. And, uh, you know, but she was, she really pushed me. And so I didn't ever finish the book, but what it did is it, it got me to where I had become, and I'm a little bit, uh, not so much anymore, but I, w- I was just a ferocious reader at one point in my life. Like I couldn't get enough. Um, and I, I think she kind of like ignited again, that, that whatever side of your brain controls the, the art aspect of your life. And it, it took me, you know, into multiple tangents, um, with, with music, with drawing, with reading. And, and I, I really do, I think about that often, actually, like it was, it was a tiny sliver she probably would not even recall it. But for me, it was like, it was huge. It was so small and, but it was so, so very impactful for me, I think to really start to dive into that side of my brain to become who I am now, you know? And so, you know, I go back to that concept that you said, you know, walk into and service the room. Like it doesn't matter how small or large servicing the room at that time is. I think that if you can always or try your best to truly service the room, like you were saying, that it can have such a profound impact on somebody moving forward. Like, and, and you really, I, I don't think you really know at that moment, like what you're doing, but it's, it, it carries mass amounts of weight, like for somebody in, in their future. So I really, I just wanted to bring up that concept because I, like you saying that was, was so small, but it was, again, you know, you and your family are, are highly impactful on the people that they interact with their communities and the surroundings and, I, I think it's just awesome that the way that you guys carry yourselves. Yeah, man. There's first of all, like, thanks for, for the kind words. I mean, I feel like you're giving me a little too much praise here on the show, but <laughs> no, you, I mean, you, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, thanks. I mean, yeah. And, and here's, what's interesting is like, we started this show and one of the first like things we talked about was like people like standing on the shoulders, right? Like mm-hmm. I'm so grateful for my parents and I don't, I don't like pretend that I wasn't given the jackpot. You know, like being born in the United States alone is a major jackpot. Being born to supportive parents, being born to like parents who are still together to this day. They just celebrated their 45th anniversary like three days ago. Like oh, wow. wild, right? But like that, that like upbringing. And then like to your, to your point, my mom was a teacher, right? So like she touched so many lives and, and teachers are all like that. Like that, you know, the, 
teachers say stuff and they don't even think about it. Like they're just trying to help someone become a little better in, you know, in most cases, but it can, it can be huge. Right. And so mm-hmm. my parents are incredible. I actually ran into Nicole, who's the planning director now for the town of Bayfield. Mm-hmm. And she was, she used to do the city of Durango. And now she's like in her own community and she's amazing. She's extremely talented at what she does, but she worked with my dad for 10 years and then now that she's in Bayfield, she's working with my mom because my mom's on the planning commission. So I'll mm-hmm. say in a small piece, but she was like, I really love working with both your parents. And like, it hit me really hard. Like, wow, that is super cool that both my parents are working in the community that I work in. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I see your name on plans all the time. Like, keep them coming. Like, that's what she said. And then she's like, and I see your dad's name on stuff because he was the old town attorney, right? So sure. all of that to say is like, the community we have super, super grateful for. I mean, I, you, we can't take back like Bayfield high for whatever it is. And for whatever it was like Mm -hmm. that period of time was super special. Right. And it's probably special for everyone, but special for us because like all the stuff that we gained is just, it's just so, so powerful. So coming back to like serve the room, I can't take credit for that. It is in a couple books, but I do, I do like, try when I walk through a, a door, this is where it came from. Brennan Burchard talks about this in high performance habits. And I, that's kind of where I stole it from like the actual concept of walking through a door. Like how can I serve? Like how, who can I serve when you walk into a room? And yeah, I don't mean obviously I fall short many, many times, but if you can walk into a room as like service, I guarantee you, you're going to get more out of it than if you walk into the room, like who can help me? 